Hello and welcome to Adam and Craig Do Stuff, where today we are doing the Blackpool Pleasure Beach. Blackpool every year but it hasn't half done us the dirty today the weather is atrocious at the minute it's absolutely chucking it down and it's windy um, so I'm not sure how successful we are gonna get on the rides today I can't imagine the big one running today no, um, it's already it's currently saying it's closed because of wind, wind I can't yeah. imagine that it's gonna open at any point no today. it does um, say the rain is gonna um, get less later on in the day um, <laughs> um, hopefully that is the, the, the case because um, we haven't done ENSO yet and yeah, we, we really want to, yeah, really want to get on that yeah um, we want to get on that I don't think that comes available until later on in the day anyway no. and Icon isn't even open at the moment no. so um, Big fact, Dipper has just opened that open late last time I checked like Revolution uh, Grand National <laughs> Grand, Grand National is definitely closed Revolution was closed um, so I don't really know how well today's going to go. <laughs> Might be the case that we just go round and round and round on Wallace and Gromit all day. Yeah, <laughs> but Wallace and, I mean, they were late opening, but Wallace and Gromit River Caves at Ghost Train are open. Hopefully Alice is open as well. I think we're going to try and, like, get a few rounds on the indoor rides first and hope that it sort of subsides a bit. Um, so, yeah, we'll, we'll keep you updated throughout the day as to how well it's going. I don't know how good this vlog is going to be, but... We're going to persevere because we are professionals at the end of the day. We're going to start the day with Wallace and Gromit, which uh, is the best dart ride in the UK. In our opinion, in our opinion and officially. And officially, yes. Um, that's at least, I don't, I don't know how many years exactly, but that's at least two years At least now. two years, yeah. Yeah, because we did get it last year and this year. Um, and it is fantastic, I absolutely love it. It is, we love Wallace and Gromit. Um, especially because I think a lot a lot of it is just to do with the IP because Wallace and Gromit are just brilliant, aren't they? Mm, they are just they essentially are. British, they are timeless, they're absolutely brilliant. So I think that's a lot of what goes into this ride being so good. There we are, first ride of the day done. Wallace and Gromit, absolutely amazing ride. Lovely. And we're going to head towards um, the ghost train now. Well, it's a bit awkward. Yeah, like <laughs> it was really awkward. Or just, I'm going to talk over this speaker so he doesn't copyright claim us. La 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 la. So um, it was um, at the turnstile, wasn't we? Yeah. And a um, staff member said to the other one, just decided to go on a massive rant to about, us and the other staff about how crap the ride was and how yeah. it deserved to be number one in the UK. <laughs> and we were like, oh. yeah. <laughs> Bit quite like it if we're honest very unprofessional <laughs> as well <laughs> to really uncomfortable wasn't it we were I like mean, oh we really like it can we just go on please <laughs> don't worry uh, Wallace and Grant we still love you yeah, even if your own staff it, yeah. don't um, he also said he's likely to break down soon so yeah. <laughs> maybe we should get a few rides on it before he does that I mean we've um, never known it break down <laughs> um, well I mean he does everything breaks down well yeah yeah but I mean we've never known it break down I've never known it to be that unreliable yeah. to be quite honest um, oh so we're going from something less lovely and charming, um, from something very lovely and charming, to something less lovely. We're going to go on the ghost train, which, old as it may be, I do quite like the ghost mm, train. Yeah, I like that this one as well. That nostalgic feel, which mm. I like. Look at this. The sun is out. And it's like a different day. It is. This is what we want to see. It's like this a different to season, to be honest. It is, actually. <laughs> so it's actually quite nice and warm now, isn't it? It's a bit sweaty, if I'm honest. Yeah. Yeah. But as soon as it stopped raining, we thought we'd better jump on a few roller coasters because you never know if it's going to change. So we did Avalanche, 
And uh, yeah, I really like have lunch. It's, it's, I do. It's every a really fun I, one. Every time I go on that, I forget how yeah, fast it is. Yeah, I actually. do as well. Like, sat on the back row, it, he's actually he picks up some speed yeah, going around there. Yeah, it does. There. It does. I always get this feeling as well. I mean, I know it's never going to happen. But I always get this feel on it. Like, what if it just comes off the track? Off. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Do you get that feeling too? Yeah, I know you what you mean. Do. Yeah. yeah. Because um, it kind of, although obviously it's got the little scoot bits, yeah. it, would, it would obviously can't come off the tracks. But yeah, you it's do kind of get that to. feeling like it would just be able to <laughs> slide off. Yeah. And then we did uh, Nickelodeon Streak, didn't we? Mm. Oh, I've forgotten how rickety that is as well. Yeah, I don't yeah. remember it being that, but that was a back row as well. That was a back row too. Some good, I mean, it probably throws mm. you out your seats. So it you go does, over yeah. I kept on bloody banging into the restraint. I elbowed him yeah. in the you head. You did a couple of times. elbow yeah. him in the it's head, not, yeah. It's not the smooth, yeah. <laughs> the smoothest of woodies, is it? And, um, then, and we then we just done the legendary just icon. Icon, our favourite one here at the park. And yeah. you don't normally like to have a favourite, do you? But uh, definitely, at this I think park, it's quite it's it's easier, easier here. here yeah, yeah. It? like definitely. You compare what this is in comparison to like the others that they've got here. Like this yeah. is a lot easier to pick a favourite when you're here. Mm -hmm. It doesn't look like they're running Enso today, though, which is a no, real shame. There's no we Enso haven't done car it. on. I mean. Um, Maybe I mean, it's a small chance they might add another yeah. car on later, but it's it's not looking it's not looking good. No. Is it? it's not available to book on the app. No, it's not. So maybe they not. just do it when they expect it to be a busier day. Maybe. No, I thought it was just on all the time. So yeah. people come on days where it's not very busy. And it's really, oh really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've seen people like I've seen like half empty trains and they've still mm. got Enzo on. So I don't know, I, but. Maybe it's the wind, I don't know, I don't know, but it doesn't look like it's on. No. Um, not. There it goes. Oh, you can't see it on here. We'll come round here in a second. Um, not very fast today, is it? It's it doesn't feel like fast didn't today, feel, actually. Even didn't, just watching it, it yeah. like, here it comes. Yeah, it comes. Hey. Um, yeah, it's, um, even just watching it, like the launches don't seem to have um, a lot of oomph today, do they? No. And it, does it well, didn't feel as fast as it often does. No. Now, massively disappointing thing is that it doesn't look like, it still doesn't look like big ones are going to open all no. day. The wind has dropped, but obviously it depends how windy it is right <laughs> yeah. up there. Yeah. Um, uh, so it's still saying closed because of the wind. I don't think that's going to open. And Revolution still says closed all, all day. day. And ice um, blast. And ice blast. Yeah. Which is massively disappointing that like three of the best rides are all shut. Mm. Um, but uh, it is what it is. It is what it is. About yeah. that. Um, so we've got the two Woodies are now open. Big Dipper and Grand National are both open. So we're going to go on them. Whether we go on Infusion. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and we haven't been on it for like what two years no, now. No, no, um, there's a good reason for that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it, it, yeah. He's a he's a horrendous pain machine. It is but, a pain machine. Um, I don't know. Every now and then, I think let's go on it and maybe I'll change my mind about it. But no, never do. So we'll see. We'll see about that. We'll but let's see. go do the worries first mm. and see how brave we feel. <laughs> So, in a very quick turn of events, um, as we were leaving Icon, they announced that they were swapping the train, um, and they have put the Enso train on. So we've booked tickets for Enso, uh, we haven't made it to the Woodies yet, um, and we've, uh, when you book Enso it gives you a countdown, and then basically when the countdown's up you come to the uh, entrance of Enso, which is like underneath the big, by the Big Dipper, you can see Big Dipper, and that entrance for Enso is here. Um, so once your countdown comes to an end, you just come to the Enso queue and you get straight on, pretty much. Um, there is also a VIP Enso, which is an extra £10, um, and that allows you to skip any queue that there is. But it's so quiet today, there's literally going to be no queue. Now, we're going to go on separately because we've heard that you get more spin if you are just one person rather than going on twice. Um, to be honest, we'd love to go on the two of us and then individually so that we can compare, but it's just going to be too expensive to do that. So we're going to go on individually and we will catch up with you afterwards and let you know what we think. We've both just had our eyes on Enso. Um, you've probably just seen some very shaky and poor footage of me trying to get Adam on it. Um, what did you think to that? I really liked that, yeah, I did. Really good, really good. That was really, really good. Yeah. Even in one, I mean, you don't get loads of spin. No, you don't. Even I was one. thinking that. Like, you didn't get as much spin as I expected, but no. it, it was good. When you did get a good spin, it was really yeah. good. Yeah, and it's more the fact that you're sort of facing in different directions. And like, I, I think you did as well, like came over this bit here that you're not showing. Oh. 
It's, it really is hard work. <laughs> I came over this bit backwards and it was proper, it was proper in town. I tell you what, coming over that barrel roll as well, mm. because the, the car spinning um, as you go over it was um, really cool. Um, that was that was brilliant. Yeah, I really enjoyed really that. Did enjoy I, that as I well. could do that over and over again. Yeah, that was yeah. um, better than the normal version, actually. I would possibly go and say I think it's nice to have both experiences yeah, yeah. Um, but that was that was really fantastic mm -hmm. I really really enjoyed that oh, I suppose the golden question that everyone wants to ask is is it worth 15 pounds and to be fair if I'm honest I think there's I don't not think anything lot. is worth 15 no pounds. I, don't I think, think that's the problem yeah it's it's overpriced no matter what that is for isn't it 15 yeah pounds I think it's just as good as like the normal version I mean I'd happy Happily just do both. Yeah, it's felt yeah, slightly more intense because yeah. it, it whips you around mm. a lot more, and especially because sometimes um, as you're going sort of over some of the snappier bends, you're at all sorts of weird angles, so you do get some quite intense moments. Yeah. Um, but I think that's the bottom line: is that no single ride experience is worth fifteen pounds. Yeah. You know what I mean? So if it was more more spinny, then I'd say it was maybe um, better than the normal mm. version of it. But having said that, it's definitely worth paying the money yeah, to once. Yeah, it's definitely worth doing. I would doing. definitely experience it once. Yeah, yeah. Um, if it was a free, I would probably go on it um, several times a day, if I'm honest. Um, but yeah, no, it was it was an absolutely fantastic experience. It was a great yeah. addition to the back of the train. I it absolutely was. love it. Um, but I mean, most of the time it's going around empty, to be fair. It's a shame. Yeah. I think you could do, on days like this, you could do to be a bit cheaper. Mm. Um, yeah, because I might like, encourage they, more people like, to get on it. Yeah. seasonally, because then... Yeah. It, they might get a bit more traction on days like today because mm. I mean we've been on it one guy went on after you but other than that I've not seen anyone on the Enzo car no. apart from the staff yeah. <laughs> when they were testing it um, so I think they could do to maybe lower the price when it's um, quiet like this and then raise it again during the, mm -hmm. the higher periods um, but yeah fantastic definitely rate definitely, it definitely yeah. try it once definitely pay the money just to experience it once because it was absolutely brilliant So we've just had a ride on uh, Big Dipper, Grand National and Infusion. So I think the next stop is the hospital to tend to oh, all of the gosh, injuries. Oh yeah. gosh, um, That was, well, do you know what? Big Dipper on that bad actually today, after, was it? After all we've said, I think on all three of those, that's probably the the, the best ride I've had on any of them. No, nah, appear to agree. Not, not, with, <laughs> uh, not with Infusion. Not with Infusion, no. I've got to, I mean, don't get me wrong, it wasn't, it wasn't a smooth ride on Infusion, but that's that's got to be the best ride I've ever had on it. I don't know if it's because I put my head back this time and I've never done that before. No, uh, I didn't. I did. Well, there you go. You see. Listen to Craig. He says. Um, uh, he said, "Oh, let's go on Infusion and remind ourselves of how rough it is." Not really sure how that was a good idea, <laughs> <laughs> um, but we did it. And no, I, I definitely think if you put your head back, you don't because you don't bang your ears as much. Well, maybe I'll do that next time. Yeah, then. maybe yeah. we should go on again. No, <laughs> my ears are still hurting now. But Big Dipper was nowhere near as rough. No, as Big Dipper it. wasn't. No, Big still Dipper a wasn't bit, bad actually. It's still very much like this, isn't it? Isn't yeah. It? Oh, yeah. oh like, I'm sat, sat in a puddle. Yeah, I'm sat in a puddle as well. Oh, oh, I didn't realise oh, that you sat shaking the bench no. just now. Um, oh, that's unpleasant. Um, and we just did Grand National, didn't we? Just yeah, now? yeah. And we just did Grand National, and that wasn't as bad as I remember no, it being either. Yeah. Still not, you know, amazingly smooth. When you compare it to like. Well, I suppose Wicker Man's the only new muddy we've got, isn't it? Mm. Um, and these ones are like, I don't know, centuries old now, yeah. aren't they? Really, really old. Um, but still good fun, I said I enjoyed that. Mm. I enjoyed them, all three of them, more than I've ever enjoyed them, I think. Or at least more than I normally enjoy them, I would say. I mean, I enjoy Big Dipper and Grand Ashel more than I normally do. Just not Infusion. Just not Infusion, no, still not a fan, <laughs> still not a fan of that. <laughs> Hashtag pain machine. Yeah, it is a pain machine. Oh, I'm so wet. And then we saw um, a werewolf on a mobility scooter. We did. Yeah. A dune buggy. Oh, was it a dune buggy? Yeah, it was not a mobility scooter. Oh, I thought it was a pimped out mobility scooter. I mean, it might have been made from a mobility <laughs> uh, scooter, but that's definitely not what it was supposed to be. Uh, it's not like some kind of, it's not an elderly wolf. <laughs> <laughs> elderly werewolf in a mobility scooter. So no, that it was like some kind of steampunky yeah. um, dune buggy sort of thing. Mm. 
Um, I've seen pictures of the werewolf before. Yeah. But I've never actually, never seen it, seen it in real in real life, have we? No. It looks really cool. No. Very big. Is it here to promote um, Journey Freak to Hell? Yeah. yeah. Which we, I think which it's, is, I think it was here before they started Journey to Hell. Yeah. But yeah. Um, it comes every Halloween. Yeah. I mean, we're not doing Journey to Hell this year because it clashes with Clubland Weekender, which is what we're here for. Yeah, we're here for Clubland, um, so that's taking up all our evenings. Yeah. We have, we've, I mean, we've got a video from last year. Yeah, we did we'll, last year. We'll and it, it, we did enjoy it last year. Yeah, yeah. So it's yeah. a shame. I mean, maybe if, if we'd booked a, an extra night, we could have done it, but we didn't think, because we booked this, like, a trip months ago, didn't we, mm. when we found out Clubland was... And we've got a lot on. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it was. I think the main thing we liked about it last year was the fact that it was very different to yeah. Um, yeah. what everyone else does. It was mm. sort of a uh, one linear experience, but which I think is different this year. I think they are going. You can go into the mazes oh, separately. Um, last year it was sort of one linear experience mm. that included scare mazes, scare zones, and rides as well. Um, so it was a really cool concept last year. It was really something different, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. It um, was. And I think the year we did it was only the second year that they've done it. Oh, was it the second year? I, I thought think it was the very so. first. No, 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 it wasn't oh, the first. I thought it was. They did it and then they stopped uh, it because oh, of, of like, 2020, yeah, blah, yeah. blah, blah. Um, and then it came back. So I think that was the second year. Um, and from what I heard, we didn't go the first year, but from what I heard, it improved the second year from mm. the first year. Um, I haven't seen many reviews of it this year, so I don't know whether it's improved again, but um, I think it's one of those things, it's so early days for them in terms yeah. of organising a scare attraction. They've just got to build on it and learn from it and get better every year. Yeah. Um, well, but speaking of scare events yeah. and speaking of uh, wet trousers, we are going to go to Passage, Passage. del Terra next. Mm -hmm. um, if you've never been to Passage, I cannot recommend it enough yeah, when you come it to It is Pesha amazing. Beach. It is it's a really such good one. A good scare zone. It is. Uh, scare maze. Scare maze. Um, and if you've watched the channel before, you know we love scares. We're going into Halloween. There's going to be lots of scares coming up. Um, so this is the first one of the Halloween season, isn't ah, it? This is the it first is, scare yeah. we're going to do of the Aye. Halloween season. Um, and we love it, so we're going to go and we'll tell you what we thought of it um, afterwards. Mm. <laughs> My heart is still, still My nerves pudding. are shot yeah. to pieces. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> I just, it's just, it delivers every single it time. It's an incredible it? maze, it, it that really one. It really delivers I every single time. I thought to myself, because we've done it every year, we know where to expect the mm. scares, we know what to expect. So I didn't think it would be as scary as, as before, but I think that was one of the... The they worst still get times. We, Although we were had. at the front. We were at the time. front. We were yeah. at the front. Yeah. So. And I do enjoy being at the front when it's a Although, scare. Although I've got to be honest, they're quite good in that one. Like a couple of the scares, they do wait until yeah. sort of like midway. And if, oh God, it's a bit wobbly. Um, so if you are sort of in the middle or at the back, you still do get um, quite a lot of scares. Yeah. It's just the, the anticipation at the front, isn't it? <laughs> of not knowing what's around yeah. the corner. Well, it's such a good maze. It is a really such good a, one. Such a good maze. Yeah. Um, sadly, the horror bar isn't open. No. Um, I don't actually know what the opening times for it are, but if you've never done it before, you come out into, into, a, a, into a horror bar where there's yeah. all sorts of things like this. Um, mm. And you can grab a drink, which is usually quite needed <laughs> once you've been through there. <laughs> Oh, that was a really good run through. It was that a really was good run probably through. Probably one of the well, best. Apart was, from like yeah. the, the first time we did it when we didn't know what to no, expect. What to expect. That's probably the best yeah. the best we've had. That was a really, really good run through. Oh my heart. <laughs> oh, and we've got a whole season of this. We must be insane. <laughs> right. Oh, something just drips on my head there. Right, let's talk about this. <laughs> so this has got to be one of our well, no, this is definitely one of our favourite yeah, rides is. here. It it's brilliant ride. absolutely incredible. I love it so much. Valhalla, I mean, Valhalla is one of the, the best rides in the country. It's absolutely amazing. I love it. The effects are amazing. The animatronics, the theming, everything. Has it got animatronics actually saying that? It's got animatronic. Yeah, anyway. Um, I absolutely love the damn thing. I'm a bit bright. Um, you get absolutely soaked though. Yeah, you do get <laughs> you do absolutely. You do get ridiculously soaked. soaked. And Blackpool was quite a cold 
place anyway. Yeah, <laughs> it's not somewhere like it's not somewhere you want to be getting absolutely soaked through no, with that sea breeze no. blowing across you. Yeah, <laughs> and luckily we stay right close to Pleasure Beach, so when we do get on it, we um, just rush back to the hotel, put some new clothes on, and come back to about five minutes. Because you are away. soaked to the skin. Yeah, soaked to the skin. And I mean, it's it's not too. It's, fairly sunny today but normally it's it's pretty damn cold isn't it? especially mm. this time of year I mean this morning was absolutely cold yeah and it absolutely cold um, and you want to go you want to go in it not so much for the the, ex the wet experience you go in it because it is amazing yeah, don't you? it's it a, a, a visual experience it's really incredible so yeah obviously this shut down um, 2020 for the season uh, ready to open up in 2021 reimagined um, and then it got put back to 2022 and without really much of any sort of announcement it's now um, heading back to open in 2023 by the looks of it if at all yeah. um, but they haven't really said much about it they've said it's not opening soon but they haven't really said when the opening is now are they? but I imagine it's going to be next year hopefully early next year um, whenever it is though I can tell you we will be back because we absolutely love this thing it's absolutely we do. incredible we do indeed and I mean um, we've seen some aerial photos of it it doesn't look like um, it's it's in a place where it's near ready to be um, to be opened no, again last time we came we did see people work on it we went yeah. on uh, Tango Ice Blast and went on Tango Ice Blast so that we could look over the look over the fence yeah because when you get to the top of that you can have a good yeah. look don't get me wrong you don't get a lot of time to look but you do get a, a yeah. quick sneak peek to see what's going on um, but we can't do that today because um, it's static it's just sort of sat there look yeah and it's not open today which is a shame um, I quite like Tango Ice Blast I quite like the Ice Blast yeah um, and I love I love Valhalla it's such a massive shame that it's not open yet um, and do you know what it's one that I wouldn't have actually put down like if you'd have asked me what rides need to be refurbed here I would not have chosen this in no, a month of Sundays more a lot more here that are in yeah need of and it was it well. was in a very a very decent state mm. when they um, closed it for re refurb so I can only imagine that the next incarnation of it is going to be like amazing absolutely amazing um, because it was good anyway wasn't it it was mm. good anyway um so yeah it's a shame uh, that it's not open but i tell you now whenever it does open we will be here we will and it'll be good to get back on it finally eventually mm. whenever that is just got a couple more rides on icon just now and i have to say um earlier when we were saying about it not being as fast as usual it has picked up speed yeah. certainly throughout the day I was those yeah, those last two rides was much, much better, much like what we're used to. I was going to say for, exactly for the same. Like yeah. you, de you can definitely tell it's warmed up now. Can't yeah, you? yeah. It's a completely different experience to what it was this morning. Mm -hmm. A lot faster. Yeah. Oh, I just love it. It's such a good coaster. Isn't it, it is a really good trailer really, coaster. Really good. Yeah, I'd say it's one of Britain's finest. It's a noisy avalanche there. I don't know what you're saying. I couldn't hear over avalanche. I said. It's one of Britain's finest. Yes, it yeah, is. Definitely. definitely one of the, the um, one of our favourites in the country. Yeah. And Enso is brilliant. I yeah, love Enso. It's really. It's a shame that it's behind a paywall because I'd love to have done that a couple more yeah, times. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Um, oh, I just I love Icon. I mm. absolutely love Icon. And those last two rides were just were phenomenal. Weren't yeah, they, they really we were. We got as far back as we could, as couldn't we? we? Yeah. Um, and it's just so smooth as well. Like it's. Mm. it's it really is standing the test of time isn't yeah, it yeah like, it is it, indeed how old is not, it now um not that old no five six years yeah. maybe i can't remember what year it opened no, oh no 2018 it opened ah. so four years oh, so it's not actually that old but um but it's, it's still incredibly smooth isn't it mm, it is it's a really good ride well oh no i don't know the words i was trying to sing the pleasure <laughs> beach song um so no absolutely amazing day so so fast today. it has gone really fast it's but i am glad that the weather did pick up because it did forecast to be absolutely chucking it down for the entire day yeah and we'd already bought a ticket so there's nothing we could do about it um but it's turned out beautiful hasn't yeah. it yeah yeah i mean when you oh gosh oh, craig and stairs do not mix <laughs> <laughs> i'm trying to do too many things at once um, I forgot what I was going to say now. Um, but yeah, I mean, we had it was awful this morning, but mm. since then it's been beautiful, it hasn't has it? It has been beautiful. Uh, and we rocked up in our winter coats again. <laughs> um, 
So, tomorrow we're going to the zoo, aren't we? Whilst yes, we're in we are. We love the Blackpool Zoo. Do love Blackpool Zoo. Um, and then after that, we've got plenty of Halloween content coming up mm -hmm. from the theme parks and from some individual scare parks as well. We'll so be careful on these stairs. Lost my concentration there because I was on the stairs. But of course, if you do like mm -hmm. spooky content, do subscribe to the channel as well as theme parks, zoo and attraction content. Give this video a like and a comment if you've enjoyed it. Let us know if you've been on Enso and what you thought. Um, and we will see you next time we do stuff.